why is she wearing my my shorts, bro? She her her, her feet barely fit out of my shorts right now. Jean shorts are in. Look at my twin. What's up, twin? What's going on, twin? Tell the world. Say dad, 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 dad. Say dad, dad. Hey, there we go. Usually y'all just see like this side of like my sneaker room, but it's getting nasty, bro, to the point where like I'm literally running out of space and it's shoes everywhere. How do you like, why do you allow me to do stuff like this? I don't. What do you mean? Everything for sale. Nigga, we not selling nothing 29 now. cents on the shoes. Okay, 29 cents out of five. Not, not, those are just like crackhead prices at that point. Is what they call an end of an era. What's the era? The era was this crib. The era was this house. So this was the first house that we ever lived in as adults, right? Like we, we lived in our apartment. As adults, house? it wasn't a house. It was oh, an okay, apartment. Okay. So like you go from apartment to like renting a house, and now we are finally in the process of buying a house, which means. The reason why a lot of this look chaotic. We in the process of moving right now, so. Okay, wait, no, can we do a story time? Can we story time real quick? Can we story time? Okay. You, okay, okay, so let's story. cut. We're gonna come back sitting down with a story time. <laughs> Today is May 6th and I just got back in town from Orlando. I haven't even got a chance to unpack my travel bag from like a four day trip before it was time to pack up and start moving. Come on, baby, take a seat. The story time is to address. Everybody in the comments be like, why is he moving? Is he on the run? Is, is, is he on homeless? Am like, I on the run is crazy. What's going no, on? Nobody <laughs> think I'm on the run. That's kind of wild. <laughs> and he looks super tall to me in this chair. Well, you might have to switch with me. Okay, let's switch, switch, switch. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Pay no attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloopers, yeah, bloopers. Yeah, they're they not even there for me. Okay. I, I damn near move like once a they year for like moved, four years straight. They think that you've been moving so much, you're going to move again for your braces is off. So tell what's going on. I've had my braces for a long time. But by the time this dropped, my braces would definitely be off. He never did a full story time of why we left our apartment because I know it seemed like we moved very yeah. abruptly. Yeah, I never did that. It that. was abrupt. <laughs> we, went, <laughs> was. we went into labor. Had the baby. Yep. We had already been complaining to them about like just the unit. And they kept telling us, oh, it's because you guys have all this natural lighting and da da da. We came home from the hospital and our AC was on 87. 87. It was broken. No, I think it was higher than 87. Yes. So they had us confined in one room after giving birth. And it was just like a, a horrible shit show. Imagine coming home after just giving birth to an apartment. That felt like an air fryer, bro. It was like 98 degrees yeah. prom summertime. Our daughter was born the middle of July. So it was like a million degrees in there. We had no AC at all. And it was just, it was nasty. We had to get up out of here. But that's essentially why we moved. And then we thought, let's come to Gwinnett. Yep. It's more family oriented. We would like it. We love the area. It's a, it's a good area. But we knew when we started looking for a home that it had to be somewhere closer to the city, but we didn't right. want to be in the city. Right. Either. And then on top of that, it takes me a long time in the morning, but I'm not sure if you guys checked out his story, but I recently graduated my alma come mater, on, Georgia State. Mm, mm, Go Panthers. Mm, mm. I graduated with my master's in computer information systems. So Damn, if black, hold on, black woman in, 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 in computer science, 3%. 3%. So this is our final move, but yep, that's it. our final move is officially buying our first home. And through the, the glory of God is a dream home. The dream home. That's gonna be a separate video. Like I'm gonna show y'all the crib and and hey, hey bro, I'm just excited, bro. Like, we, we've been excited throughout this whole process. But yeah, to anyone with any questions about why we've moved so much. This is. This is literally why. Right now as we speak, bro, it is 8.41 a.m. The last time I was in front of this camera, I was breaking y'all the news that we have to move that was almost a week and a half ago. Today is May 17th. Just about everywhere in the house is already packed up. We didn't packed up the bedroom, we packed up King's room, we packed up Dream's room, the playroom. Everything is packed up and of course, the last place is the studio. To be honest, man, I'm really not gonna miss this studio too much because I didn't really put that much effort into it. It's little stuff here and there, but I knew since we wasn't buying this home, I really wasn't gonna put no money and effort into making this studio look grand or one of one. 
because at the end of the day, when we move, I was gonna have to change everything back and it'll be a waste of time. However, when we move into the new home, I'm already plotting on new ways to make the studio. So y'all on this channel is gonna enjoy that new studio, but my sneaker channel is gonna enjoy it the most. So I'm basically making that just for my sneaker videos, reviews, and it's gonna be just like this superstar, amazing fucking build up. Like I'm really excited for it. But yeah, man, it's time to pack this up, bro. I'm gonna start by, you know, packing up all these shoes. It's gonna take forever. I'm gonna start by taking the shoe all down, packing this stuff up in boxes, moving all these excess shoes and just, Shit like that over here, man. Let's get it going. Moving day. How you feeling? Happy. It's happening. It's happening. Today is the 28th. Is it the 28th? Today's 27th. Hold on. Let's verify. Yeah. 27th. Today's okay, 27. today is the 27th. If you've seen at the beginning of the video, we said we were closing on the 22nd. So clearly that didn't happen, but it got pushed back and we had more time and now we're finally packing and moving. We literally just went to go pick up the uh, moving truck and everything is empty, bruh. Everything is empty. Bathroom, completely empty. We was literally, we already took apart the bed, but we were sitting on the floor the last day. We then took everything off the walls, TV on the floor. This is where this is where I was doing all my sneaker content. This is absolutely butt naked, bro. Ain't nothing in here at all, bro. Right here, bro. This was Kane's room, but it's completely empty, bro. And as you can see right out here, bro, it's huh, that's the moving truck. A lot of memories at this place, man. I'm gonna love it, bro. This was a nice house, especially for me, right? I mentioned earlier, I only lived in apartments. This is my first time ever renting a house and it was nice, I'm not gonna hold you. The neighborhood was great, the people were friendly, but now it's time to move into that actual adulthood and own an actual home. Dream home at that. Like I said, we will be doing like a full video of the home that we moving into, but we got a lot of stuff to do. But I got some work to do. And right now the basement is unfinished, which I like because I can make it whatever I want, but it's gonna take some time before it get there. So y'all gonna have to stay tuned for that. But, yeah man, I mean. Baby! Party's here. <laughs> it's May, but I have on Christmas pajamas. Why do you have on Christmas PJs, bro? Oh my, did you just dent the wall, nigga? We are in our new house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I can't even begin to tell y'all how excited we is to be in a new crib, but just for, no, let me, let me put this down real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Wait, you said she's walking? Of course she's walking. She's been walking like this. I'm thinking you think she walk. Ugh, so, every time we do this, your chair is taller than me. I don't, spots? I don't like that. No, it's fine. It's fine. I was going to say the Snipe Squad ever seen you in person. <laughs> they know, y'all know I'm 6'5", by the way. I'm <laughs> anyway, hey, look, we know it's a crazy echo right now. Obviously, it's because we moved into the new crib. The last time I was in front of the camera, I don't even think you know, I was in front of the U-Haul truck and we talked about moving. We had to get another U-Haul truck because the U-Haul truck that you booked was like a 20 inch? Or a 20 footer. Or yeah, whatever, it was like, it was like yeah. 20 feet and it wasn't enough. So we packed up the entire crib and had another entire crib still left. So we had to go buy a van and a moving truck, drive both of them an hour and 20 minutes to come here, but it was all worth it, bro. However, the journey has not been easy. She negotiated a lot of money off for us and just other things that were really helpful, but dun, 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 we almost had to go to Kentucky because why? Bro, somebody stole my fucking identity, bro. I had no idea until it was time to close on the house. It like needed a week before closing. Literally, yeah, a week before closing, we find out, and I wasn't recording nothing at the time. So like, I like to record as shit goes on. That's the reason why this is kind of out of place. Yeah. It was documenting the entire home buying experience until that part happened. <laughs> Today is May 31st, so we making this video three days after moving yeah. in. So we still like, very new here. Yeah. So a couple of days they were like, okay, let's submit all your final documents. Can you resend something? And then it kept giving like an error. 
So at first, when our day got pushed back, we're not gonna lie, we were kind of like bummed because we had already started packing up our house with the yep. intention of like moving down here. The issue ended up turning out to be a blessing because thankfully it was held back because we called every IRS, we went to every single building in Atlanta. The only way they would take my tax information because my identity was stolen is if I turned my taxes in by hand. I thought it was easy until we went to the IRS, nigga, and every IRS didn't have an appointment open until two months from the day I needed it. July 18th. July 18th. Yeah. We needed it in two days. Yeah. The only opening was July. Bro, we called every last one in Georgia, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Louisiana, anywhere that we could drive to, yeah. bro, we called. Nobody had an availability except one. Where? And it was in Prestonburg, Kentucky. Where the fuck? It's Prestonburg, so, Kentucky. If you're from Prestonburg, Kentucky, you, you watch it right now. Prestonburg was like an hour and 20 minutes from West Virginia, so we would have to fly to that airport. It was like two hours from Cincinnati, so we were thinking about that. Everything, it was like an hour, two hours from, over an hour and a half from every airport. So we was like, screw it, we're just gonna have to drive because it don't make sense. We're gonna have the crazy Uber to go an hour and a half, two hours somewhere, so yeah. Well, I'll say all that to say, as you can see, we got that squared away, and now we finally in the crib. I really want to show y'all the crib, but obviously we want to wait till it's done all right. It's a big place, so we got to spend a lot more time furnishing it, getting it right, but I'm telling y'all now, bro, the ideas I have for this crib, my YouTube studio, and to be specific, I done probably run this up three times in this video, it's worth the wait. So I will say this, I think personally probably give them like a tease probably a month and a half from now. Yeah, for sure. Reason being is you want to tell them how big it is, Nah, hell no, 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 no. And I'll tell you this, my belief and my strength in God over this process of buying a house has skyrocketed a million percent. Like I've always been a believer. We've always went to church. We've always been believers, but like this was a process that we were really kneeling on faith. We were leaning on faith a lot. And I mean, God came through. We here. We got the crib. No, no, no hiccups, no nothing. I mean, it's exactly what we prayed about. Just let y'all know, bro, prayer is real. God is real. I, I'm, and I can me. say this. I don't want to be like too preachy or too religious. Facts. But when things first got pushed off, we were like stumped because we were like, dang, we already got rid of our bed frame. Yep. We were like on the floor. I showed them that. Like if y'all remember the clip, I'm gonna replay it here. Like we was literally already sleeping on the floor because we were so sold that we had the house. We already sold furniture, exactly. hauled off furniture. And this is before so, they even told us about the hiccup. We yeah. almost didn't get the home. So literally we found out that Monday, we found out his identity was stolen. And we already sold and everything. Like, and we literally, and mind you, the closing at the time was Tuesday the 22nd. So we had got rid of everything before Friday because we're like, we good. We're good. <laughs> we good. So, Ain't nothing gonna down. I say that all to say, like, sometimes things that may happen that may like push you down, or you may think like it's really a bad thing, may just be a re redirection that you need. Just the peace sometime that you get when you're doing something or when you have a decision may be a good thing as well. So, in closing, a lot of y'all has been watching me since I started seven years ago. It's so crazy, I damn near grew in front of y'all. I went from just having this dream and start a YouTube channel to y'all watching me move in my first apartment, uh, propose to my fiance. Y'all watched the whole process of me finding out my girl was pregnant and having my daughter to now me buying my dream car and now buying my home. Like I literally documented my whole life in front of y'all. And I wanna thank every last one of y'all that watched because y'all changed my life, to be honest. You know what I'm saying, for one for y'all, I don't know where I'd be. Every yeah. opportunity I get because of this platform, I always know it goes back to y'all. So I love y'all and I thank y'all because Hold on. I want y'all, bro. Man. I don't know if you're able to do this, but are you able to like add those videos here? Yeah. Because I see some people do it. Well, check these out. One is gonna be driving <laughs> car, baby. One is gonna be whatever, and yep. whatever, whatever, and me. Yeah. All of Because I'm the brand. Home. Okay. You and know my what? My agent cleared it. So let's go. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs>